China's recent creations are unsettling the U.S. and its allies due to their highly advanced capabilities. Join us as we take a closer look at what these advances mean for modern warfare and geopolitics. But before we get into the details, do us a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Your support means a lot. Alright, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. The US and its allies are in shock. For quite a while, their development of hypersonic technologies took a back seat. While China has been making huge strides in technology, the US and the collective West have been preoccupied with global politics. As China reveals its advanced capabilities in the field, the US has nothing to show yet. China has just revealed this super powerful engine, like the fastest in the world. It can go up to 12,000 mph and could potentially shoot a missile anywhere on Earth in just an hour. Imagine if they use it for planes, we could be looking at intercontinental flights taking only an hour. Plus, the cool part is, it's way more fuel efficient than regular jet engines. China just came up with a groundbreaking rotating detonation engine. They're claiming it's the most powerful in the world. Picture this, it could make airplanes zip between continents in just a few hours. This cool air-breathing engine can take an airplane up to crazy altitudes, like 18.6 miles. And get this, this makes it go up to 16 times the speed of sound. That's mind-blowing, right? Imagine, if they make it work, we might have intercontinental flights in just an hour. And guess what? It's way more fuel-efficient than regular jet engines. This discovery is a big deal because it could cut down costs and the engine is pretty compact, allowing more space for fuel and stuff. The best part, this engine kicks into action from zero speed, unlike others that need a high initial speed. And get this, it's not just about speedy flights. The military could use it to hit targets super quickly. Zhang Yining and his team spilled the beans on this innovation in the Chinese Journal of Propulsion Technology. But here's the thing, even though it sounds amazing, there's still some work to do before it becomes a practical, usable thing. Both China and the US are in this crazy race to develop the fastest, deadliest aircraft. China's got a hypersonic missile that can take down the USS Stealth Bomber. Crazy, right? China's latest engine works in two modes, one below Mach 7 with a continuous rotating detonation and the other above Mach 7 with oblique detonation. It's tricky to switch between the two, but if they nail it, we could be looking at some serious advancements in space launch vehicles and missile propulsion. Now, they didn't spill the beans on the efficiency numbers, but based on estimates, the engine could convert a whopping 80% of chemical energy into kinetic energy. Compare that to regular turbofan engines, achieving only 20-30% to efficiency. It's next-level stuff. China's been making waves in hypersonic tech, and the engine is no exception. The Beijing Power Machinery Institute is a big player. It is well known for making top-notch ramjet engines for China's advanced weapons, including hypersonic missiles. However, the transition between the two modes wasn't a walk in the park. As the speed hits Mach 7, the rotating detonation mode struggles and they have to quickly switch to oblique detonation. They're thinking of solutions like slowing down the air speed or tweaking the engine's internal structure. But here's the thing, this info is cool, but it's not the whole picture for a usable product. They left out some critical engineering parameters. In 2023, China made waves with the world's first flight of a rotating detonation engine on a drone platform. The FB-1 rotating detonation engine had a successful maiden flight, bringing some serious speed to the skies. So China's pushing the envelope in hypersonic flights, and it's pretty fascinating. This hypersonic engine has had the input of the People's Liberation Army 93160 unit. They've been working in cahoots with Zhang Yining and his crew at the Beijing Power Machinery Institute. This technology has the potential to shake up the future of air travel. Not only so, but also the geopolitical balance between China and the US. China is known for pushing the envelope in revolutionary weapons, and now they're saying they've got the most powerful hypersonic engine out there. Zhang's crew is calling this a world first, showcasing China's smarts. 
They're saying it could revolutionize aerospace propulsion, which sounds pretty epic. China is no newbie in the hypersonic game. Back in 2021, they were already making waves with this powerful missile that zips around six times faster than the speed of sound. These were wrecking communication lines in just 10 seconds. Talk about cutting-edge tech. The West, led by the US, is in shock. They are now waking up to the realization that China just overtook them. And it's not just in the manufacture of hypersonic engines, but also their application in defensive and offensive warfare. The global dynamics are in for a test, and potential collaborations are in the offing. Tensions with Australia, China's closest western neighbor, are at their highest. This whole hypersonic missile scene has got key allies like the UK, Australia, and the US on high alert. They're racing to figure out how to counter these missiles because they're a real game changer. What makes them even trickier is that they can fly at lower trajectories than your usual intercontinental ballistic missiles. This capability is what makes them super hard to intercept. Western officials are recognizing that speed is the new stealth. China's been going all in on hypersonic capabilities, building up the most advanced arsenal of these missiles in the world. The AUKUS folks are all about countering this threat. They're focusing on tackling the delivery mechanisms, basically the systems that launch the missiles, rather than just the missiles themselves. It's like they're saying, let's hit the bases, hit the launch systems to really take these things down. Here's the catch. While the UK doesn't have hypersonic missiles yet, the US on its part is still testing them out. Everyone's feeling the pressure to catch up and close this tech gap. Oh, and don't forget, Russia's also playing around with less fancy versions of these Chinese hypersonic missiles in conflicts like Ukraine. It's a global chess game and the stakes are pretty high. The real concern is that these hypersonic missiles from China can carry nuclear payloads. This has been raising some serious eyebrows about potential clashes with US and UK naval forces. Tensions are especially common in places like the South China Sea. Things are getting pretty intense out there. There is a lot of speculation on what a hypersonic future looks like. Well, for transportation, it revolutionizes air travel and speeds human progress. However, the application of hypersonic engines in modern warfare might spell doom for humanity. Picture this, a nuclear warhead on a hypersonic missile might strike before you hear it. This is due to its faster-than-sound speeds. In the case of the US, if they determine that a weapon is nuclear, there's a high chance they'd see it as a first strike. In response, they might use their own nuclear weapons on Russia. The hypersonic speed of these weapons make the situation even more delicate because there's less time for any last-minute diplomatic solutions. The real danger here is how these modern hypersonic missiles can make things unstable. To deal with this, I think the US and its allies should quickly get their own hypersonic weapons. This could push countries like Russia and China to sit down and figure out a diplomatic way to handle these powerful weapons. It's all about finding a safer path forward. So there you have it, China's pushing the boundaries in the world of engines and it's pretty mind-blowing. And the application of these engines in modern transportation changes things for the better. We're genuinely interested in your thoughts. Feel free to drop your perspective in the comments. Your insights truly matter. And hey, if you're into the whole economics and world politics scene, great news! We have more videos coming your way just for you. So stay tuned and catch you in the next one.